and we are live welcome everyone to part two of uh of my uh, ckd study prep uh so i left you yesterday uh so we looked at this we looked at this resource uh that was very much uh and very widely recommended by the community uh by somebody named dg catanasios so uh for a little bit of background it's a set of uh, kubernetes a ckd questions um well i don't know if you can well you can't even see me on the on the camera but whatever um uh so yeah it's a set of exercises to help me prepare for this uh, offered by the cloud yeah you know, it's by curriculum domain so it follows essentially the the um, the official curriculum although i think it's been updated since like some of these um some of these uh, sections have been merged together but uh so the other day we did uh, the core concepts right and so so i i had done it before uh but the but the, the audio was bad so i just thought i would uh, redo it so the core concepts wasn't blind but whatever's going to come after this whatever we're going to do now is going to be a 100 blind so let me just check my audio real quick Am I using the correct, uh, yep. Am I using the correct filters? Yes, I am. All right. So, uh, okay. So let's crack on with this. So we'll do multi-container pods. All right. So, oh, okay. So it's, uh, <laughs> there are not many questions on here. So cre question one is create a pod with two containers, both with image busy box and command help. Echo hello sleep 3600 connect to the second container and run ls all right so as you can see i'm running minikube i'm gonna do this on minikube uh all right so what was the question again uh create a pod two containers both with image busy box and command this all right i don't think we can create multiple pods uh multiple containers in one pod with kubestr run but we can create one essentially so we'll do uh busy box hyphen image busy box um the command is gonna be uh, let's make it uh, yaml let's do a dry run client and the the command was uh, echo hello sleep 3600 so bin hyphen sh c echo hello and then sleep 3600 now whenever you see whenever you're given a question like this and um hold on let me just deal with the keyboard real quick all right uh, whenever you see a question like this that involves a command with a multiple um like a one-liner with either ampersand ampersand or um, um semicolon you don't want to simply write it as is you want to essentially call bin.sh hyphen c and then pass it the entire string otherwise it fails i mean it, i don't think it fails but the um it's not that it fails but the um at least on the udemy labs it gives you an error because it expects a a very specific output so we'll send that over to temp uh, multi busy .yaml. Let's have a look at that. Temp not not vi vim. Uh, temp multi busy .yaml. All right. So we have this one. Okay. So we have a container with a command this da da da. Okay. So both have to have, which is interesting, because both need to have the same command, isn't it? so both in command okay so we'll call the first one uh busy one i guess and we'll call the second one busy two all right and then we'll do uh no that's the one temp multi busy all right so if we do pods okay so it's creating 
All right, so both of them are running. And so now what we need to do is we need to kubectl exec. Uh, I think it's going to be hyphen C busy too. And then uh, hyphen C for container. Uh, let me check. Yep, C container. All right, so hyphen C. Uh, busy too. And then uh, what's the pod called? Busy box. Oh. So do that again, keep CTL exec, busy box, C busy too. Uh, and we'll do ls. No, we'll do hyphen it ls. Boom. And we get the um, we get the, the output. Let's look at the answer. Yep, drive run client, bin sh hyphen c, pod yaml, da da da. Uh, oh, you used args instead of uh, command. Oh, yeah, because I did the dash dash command. Okay. And we, we, we went over this um, in the last, uh, in, a, in the previous video. And then so you create, uh, you create a resource and then you exec, pass the, um, pass the name of the container. And then, and then you can, oh, I did LS, but I could have, I guess, opened the shell and then, okay. Uh, well, that's what, okay. So this is what I've done. And then we'll essentially just, um, uh, kubectl, delete, kdl, busy box. Nope. Uh, oh no. Uh, kubectl, okay, delete. Pod Nginx and BusyBox. All right. So, uh, create a pod with an Nginx container exposed on port 80. Add a BusyBox edit container which downloads a page using wget da 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 da. Make a volume of type empty dir and mount it in both containers. Wow. For the end, this is a bit more involved. For the nginx container, mount it on user share nginx HTML, and for the init container, mount it on slash work. Yeah, when done, get the IP of the created pod and create a busy box pod, and run a wget hyphen o ip. All right, so not going to be fun. So create a pod with an nginx container exposed on port eighty. All right, so we'll do that first. Okay, run nginx. Engine. Nginx hyphen hyphen image nginx, uh, and then we'll do port equals eighty. For good measure, we'll add restart another. We'll do uh, we'll do dry run equals client hyphen o yaml, and then we will go tem nginx dot yaml. All right, so we we do that. Uh, okay, so we can do this, and then we have init containers, and so the name, we'll call it busy. Uh, I think the image is busy box. Shit, is it busy box? Uh, what is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Yeah, busy box containers downloads a page using this, so it's going to have to be command. Uh, all right, so I'll, do, I'll just copy this. Actually, no, I'll just copy the... What, what? Oh. Nope. No, no, no. I'm, I'm not... Oh, I didn't... Okay, well, we already solved that question, so that's fine. Let me just copy. Thank you very much. And I'll do command. So I'll do bin sh. I can see. Uh, I'll do that. Okay, so we need to create volumes. Let me just give it a creation timestamp. All right, what we need to do is create volumes. So the name, uh, what's it called? Make it volume of type empty there. All right, so we'll just call it, uh, I don't know, busy vol. Busy volume, uh, just empty there. We'll give it an empty object, just like that. This is going to be volume mounts. The mount path is going to be work 
there, I think. Was it work? Uh, make a volume of type empty there and mount in both containers for the nginx container mount it uh, and for the inner container mount it on slash work there all right so that's cool and then we'll do this for the um oh, the name is busy oh so we'll copy this and then we'll paste it over here okay uh okay so, so make a volume of, uh, uh, for the nginx container mount it on user share nginx html. Yep, user uh, user share nginx html. Okay, uh, make a volume of type empty there uh, for the nginx container mount it on and for the inner container mount it on work there. When done, get the IP of the create pod and create a busy box pod and run wget o ip. Oh, okay, so we should get the output of the neverssl.com slash online, I suppose. So we'll do that. Temp nginx. Right, k is pods. It's initializing. All right, it's running. So we'll do the trick that we did the other day, uh, well, yesterday, to get the IP of the pod. Now, we could use JSON path and do status pod IP or whatever, but I don't really remember the syntax. And to be honest, it looks ugly. I don't like it. So we'll do uh, uh, pods, so kbcl uh, get pods hyphen o wide, right? We'll remove the headers, so we'll pass no headers. There are no headers flag. Just like that. And then we'll do, we'll pipe that to arc. And so we'll do uh, print. Now, which one is it? One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's do six. Yep. All right. So that's the one. So this is the IP. And so we need to now create a busy box a pod and run this so we'll do k run busy box dash dash image dash dash image equals busy box i can id and actually happen restart equals never uh have an it hyphen hyphen rm uh and then i believe we can just do uh, w get an o hyphen o hyphen o hyphen and then we'll do command substitution again i'm using fish on bash you would have to add the um the dollar sign i believe yep no whatever we'll just do that and presumably we should get the page yep uh Let's have a look. Yeah, never SSL helping you get online. So that's the one. Boom. All right. Uh, just for good measure, let me just go to, go on. Uh, let's just go to bash. Actually, no, let's just exit. You copy this. Let me uh, go this. I'll just copy that. Let's go to bash. Uh, and I'll do this. Yeah. Okay. Come on. Not found, but I do. I'll do. Ah. I'll run. This. And uh, instead of the IP, I'll do command substitution. So I'll do. Uh, so cube CTL get pause hyphen O Y dash dash no dash headers. Hide that to org and then you print no you print six uh let's see if it works yep it does so it's so uh if you're on bash you have to add the uh, the dollar sign right, let's go back to fish and see if we were right so qtl run box da -da -da, image restart never port 80 dry run okay 
and then essentially yep yeah, so volume mount so he called it volume but i did i called it vol and then for the init container bin.sh da 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 okay name volume and this is what we have i think we used command instead of args but whatever uh it works and then we applied the pod we got the ip and he okay so what he did he essentially just went with it uh so he copied it manually uh, i think and then we can just do the cleanup so let's just do kubectl delete pod dash dash all dash dash all okay um Okay, so that's that. That was uh, I was gonna say easy enough, but not really, right? Um, how long have we been going for? Sixteen minutes. All right, so let's go back and let's do pod design. To be honest, I thought I would be able to do this all in one sitting, but it's not gonna look like I will be able to do that. So maybe it's gonna be a three part thing. Maybe I'll do pod design configuration. And maybe observability now and then i'll do the rest uh maybe tomorrow uh pot design so let's go back to this like pot design so labels okay so what it what it contains is uh or what it's about really is labels and annotations deployments jobs and cron jobs all right uh okay so it's it's uh split into different sections deployments uh jobs and cron jobs all right so this one is going to be about uh labels and selectors so we'll go to the documentation hello um okay so we'll keep that for reference if we need it so create three pods with names nginx1 nginx2 and nginx3 all of them should have the label app equals v1 all right, can I can I create multiple? Can I run help? Can I create multiple pods at once? Study to create. Okay, so create three pods with names Nginx one, Nginx two, and Nginx three. All of them should have the label app equals v1 that's interesting can i create multiple pods at once <laughs> can we do this in one go let me okay let's just try something we'll do k run nginx one oh no but we can't do that of course okay so we'll do nginx one image equals nginx dash port oh, what, what do we have to, no we don't need to port uh image nginx and so do, 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 do. labels so hyphen l um let's try that app equals v1 let's try that okay and then we'll do nginx2 and engine x3 we could have used a for loop uh for this maybe but i'm not i'm not really familiar with uh i mean the syntax is a bit it's a bit funny uh especially in bash so let's let's have a look yep c for i and uh, do gives you a run blah 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 image l app equal v1 done yep so that's the um that's the syntax for bash. It's good to know, actually. Uh, show all labels of the pod. Okay, so K get pod. Have a look. Uh, show labels. K get pods. Dash show labels. Yep. So get all labels of the pods and then boom, show labels. That's easy enough. Change the labels of pod engine X2 to be app equals V2. Oh, well, that's interesting. What can we do? Can we set? Let's 
set selector. Let's try that. Labels. You must provide one more re you must provide one or more resources. Oh no, okay, so it's K set selector engine X. Right. I guess pod. Help. Uh set oh, oh yeah, set the labels and selectors. Set the label and selector before creating. So do 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 keeps here. Oh, we can do kubectl label. Didn't know about that. Label, AK label pod engine X2. Oh, God. Help. Help. Oh, kubectl label, help. Okay, so let's, let's look at the examples. kubectl label pods. Um, who? All right, so kubectl label. Okay, so we'll do this kubectl label pods, and then we'll do nginx2 and abv2. All right, so k label pods, um, nginx2 app equals v2. Uh, app already has a value of v1, uh, and overwrite is false. Dash dash overwrite. Boom. All right, so. Um, yep, so that's the one. Get the label app for the pods. Show a column with app labels. Oh, hold on, what? Get the label app for the pods. Show a column with app labels. Oh, I right, said so this is going to be something about uh, output. Pods. I don't know. I don't know. I can help. I think it's the output. Output format one of JSON, YAML, name, go template, da da da. J custom columns. Yeah, let's do that. Let, let's let's do that. Let's copy this link. Whoop. What is it? That's the one. Let's copy this link. Let's Let's have a look. Why is it not working? What, what the hell? Oh. Okay, so custom columns. Oh, metadata, not name. Oh, okay, so O oh, custom columns. Uh, all right, so we'll do this. We'll do. Okay, so we will do cube ctl uh get pods right and then we'll do dash dash output cut uh what is it the custom columns custom columns and then we will do we'll call it app is it equals yep so equals app colon and I believe it's metadata dot labels dot app. Yep. All right. Okay. So we we've got that. That's great. Uh, okay. So it's like specific columns. Uh, all right. So let's have a look at the answer for this one. Uh, oh, okay. Get pod dash dash label columns. Mm, okay, so get pod dash dash label columns equals uh, app. Oh, okay. Because I was wondering how we could. Um, how we could because the, this command only shows us the um, the um the app column but now it's just appended it's just appended so that's great yeah just 
or hyphen capital L, I guess. Boom, yeah. Okay, so we learned something new, that's great. Get only the app equals V2 pods. Well, that's gonna be about sorting. If I've looked at something like that, so let's do gig help. Uh, sort by if non empty sort list types using the field specification the field is expressed as json path expression dot metadata dot name in the field resources uh select it oh select the label query to filter on support okay so uh oh yeah was well, hyphen l yeah that's easy enough Okay, get pods, hyphen L, app equals V2. Yep, all right, that was easy enough. Um, yep, and we could have done selected too. Add a new label tier web to all pods having app V2 or app V1 labels. Oh, that's interesting. Add a, add a new label tier web to all both having app equals v2 or app equals v1. Okay. Cube CTL label pods. Help. Cubes update. We'll do field selector, we'll try that. Matching with all of the specified label. Oh, must satisfy all of the. So it's not going to be L. Uh, and so was the field selector. Field selector. We'll, we'll, we'll try field selector and then we'll, we'll try the L thing. Okay, label pods, hyphen, hyphen, field selector equals uh, selector, app equals V1, app equals V2, here equals. Let's just do that. Here, I think it's front end, was it? Uh, no, web. Tier web. Unable to find v1 that match selector field selector field label. Okay, so it's gonna let's try then. Let's try L. happened all right okay get pods uh, up here nope didn't didn't add it it did not add the, the how do we do the or let's try and label the pod this first right oh you see okay oh maybe there's a there's a there's a notation that we could use to specify the or uh i don't have it let's have a look at the solution oh it's app in v1 v2 I have no idea how that works. Okay, that's that's interesting. Well, copy and paste that just in case. We'll do over. Right. Not labeled. 
not leave it. Whatever. Doesn't seem to work. Yes, it does. All right. Add an annotation. Owner marketing to all parts having app v2 labels. All right. So annotation. I think it's annotate. Cube CTL annotate. Yep. Annotate pods. Uh, hyphen L app equals V2. And what's the, uh, what's the, uh, annotate owner marketing. Owner equals marketing. Yep. All right. Add an annotate. Remove the app label from the pods. From the pods we created before. Hmm. Huh. CTL label. Can I remove update? By, oh, by removing a label, label parts foo. Ah, oh, yeah, okay. So, cube CTL label parts. Um. So the label is app. Oh yeah, so we'll do the this, and then we'll do app like that. Yep, unlabeled. Uh, so that was okay. So that was the correct one. Remove the app label. Yep. Um. Oh, whatever. Okay. So if they have app, then we can do that. Interesting. Create a part that will be deployed to a node that has the label accelerator equals NVIDIA Tesla P100. Create a part that will be deployed to a node that has the label accelerator NVIDIA Tesla P100. Okay, so we'll have to label the node. I mean, I've, I've only got one node. Uh, no, that's Node.js. Uh, okay, get node. Node. Yeah, I've only got Minikube. Okay, well, I'll, I guess I'll just uh, label node Minikube. Uh, what's the label? It's accelerator, boat. Ah. And so there's going to have to be node affinity. I already have the value. Oh, I've done it before. Well, that's interesting. Yeah, but it's been so long that I just don't remember. So it's okay. Uh, accelerator. Okay, so we've removed that, right? And so we'll just have to add it again, I guess. Oh, yeah, we've done it. All right, so now I'll just um, have to create a pod that will be deployed to a node that has the label. All right, so we'll just do k run nginx dash dash engine nginx dash dash restart equals now dash try run equals climbing hyphen yaml. And then we'll send that to temp nginx.yaml. I will vim nginx temp nginx. God. Why are you not? Okay, I'm going to get rid of you. Then temp nginx.yaml. Okay. So, I think it's node affinity, no, it's affinity, node affinity, I think it's required during scheduling, ignore during execution, node select the terms, and then I think it's match expressions, yep, and the key is going to be accelerator, oh, let me just copy it. So we'll do that. X 
accelerator in values NVIDIA Tesla B100. I'm thinking uh, maybe there's a way to to um, pass node affinity. I'm not sure. Let me, let me actually check. Let me run. Well, there's nothing about affinity on here. Is there? Uh, customize image pull policy force field manager expose dry run command cascade annotations attach if true wait for the pod to start running and then attach to the pod as if keeps the attachment default for no allow missing to nope okay so we're definitely gonna have to do this now it doesn't really m matter because in this case we've only got um minikube running but if we had multiple knows I guess we would have been able to uh to see it okay uh where is it boom label nodes and then you can show the labels containers node selector excel oh okay oh we could have used node selector well that's interesting uh I use node affinity Okay, well, uh, or use node affinity. Okay, we could use node affinity here. Yeah. So I'm not, I'm not crazy. Um, okay, so that was good. Annotate pods nginx1, nginx2, nginx3 with description equals my description. Okay, so kubectl. Annotate pods um, and genex. What was it? it well, just completely forgot how he's how he done it. So you see, annotate pods and genex one, two, and three. Um, and what's the annotation? Description equals my description. Description equals my my. This virtual. Oh, there is no um, comma. Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, yep. So, oh, okay. So one, three, two, two, three. Right. Check the annotations for pod engine X one. So, K get pods annotations. Let's have a look. I think we have something about annotations. Do we not? What labels? Right. Prep. Prep annotation. Nothing. Well, that's interesting. Um, let's have a look at annotations. Yep. Okay, syntax and character set. What's oh. uh? What can we get? Field selector, foo bar, glass. Get uh, let's Google that. Get annotations for pause. Yep. Oh, oh, okay. So we would have to use something like JSON, uh, JSON path. Uh, all right. So let's do that. Let's do JSON. Okay. So let's do K okay, get pause. Uh, I think it's JSON 
off. And then we'll do, I believe it's metadata dot annotation. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Jason, no, it's hyphen O, Jason Path. Hyphen O, Jason Path. Let's do metadata. Let's do metadata that labels, maybe. No. Uh, well, let's just do that. Uh, yeah, so it's JQ. I think. Ah, I completely forgot how to use J JQ, but K get pause hyphen O JSON. And we'd have to loop through that and then get the annotations, but I'm not going to bother. Let's we'll just look at the solution. Um, so that get the annotation. Oh, no, it's pod engine x1. All right, so let's go. Okay, so k engine x1. So read the question, people. Jason path, and then we'll do, uh, we'll do metadata dot annotations dot description. Yeah, okay, so we have that. Cool. Now uh, let's try that. Let's see how we did it. And uh, no, that's not the one. That's the one. Oh. Okay, yeah, we could have used the custom columns, I guess. Yep. Remove the annotation for these three parts. It's a cube CTL. Annotate pods. Boom. All right. If I do that, I think, yeah, there's nothing. They don't have annotations. Great. Uh, remove the annotation for these three pods. So that's that. And then remove these pods to have a clean slate in your cluster. And so we'll do cube CTL delete pod all. Oh. Great. So we're done with the uh, we're done with this. We struggled a bit with the um, what was it? Uh, uh, which one was it? We struggled with one of these. I think no, it's the hyphen L. It was the label thing. Or which one is it? Yeah, that's the one. But we learned about uh, we learned about. Um, some columns so that's great so that's for, that's it for labels and annotations we'll go to deployments i'm just going to go take a really quick break and i'll be with you in a second uh so bear with me
and I'm back I've resolved the uh, lighting situation so we're doing deployments now um, all right so let's crack on with this we have a lot of questions to go through so create a deployment with image nginx 118.0 called nginx having two replicas defining port 80 as the port that this container exposes don't create a service for this deployment all right so this is going to be confusing because when you when you read exposes you're tempted to do um a qctl expose but we're not going to do this so we'll do deployment so we'll go okay create Deployment nginx dash dash image this is going to be nginx 1.18.0. Uh, so it's called nginx. It's going to have two replicas. Two replicas. Um, two replicas and port 80. Port equals 80. So if we can get the boy, right? We have the uh, nginx, and if we do k get pod, and then we do this, just take that, and we'll do k describe pod this. Uh, the port is 80, as you can see. Port that exposes 80. All right. So. Uh, this should be easy enough. Yep. Da da da. Drag run client. Okay. Change replicas if I want to do, or do something like this, or do something like this. And that was the one. Um, it's great because it shows you multiple ways of achieving the same uh, same outcome. View the YAML of this deployment. Right. That's easy enough. Okay. Get deploy nginx. Deploy nginx hyphen o YAML. YAML. Oh, we have the YAML file here. I view the YAML of the replica set that was created by this deployment. Yeah, because the deployment essentially generates a replica set. So if we do kget okay, rs, we have this. And so we can just do that. kget okay, rs, boom. Oh, YAML. And as you can see, it's a replica set. Uh, okay, get the YAML for one of the pods. So, right, okay, get uh, pod, and the next. I don't have the uh, completion, so pods, just do that. It's bugging me. Pause, oh, YAML, boom, alright, so that's done. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Or well, you can find pause directly by doing this. Yeah. Okay. Check out. Check how the deployment rollout is going. I think it's kubectl rollout status. Uh, rollout deploy nginx status. Roll out deploy unknown command deploy QTL roll out status deploy nginx successfully rolled out. Okay, um, so that was successful. Yep, update the nginx image to nginx 1198.0. Okay, so cube CTL. Actually, let's just do no, yeah, let's just do cube CTL. Now let's just do K. I need to get uh, used to doing this because in the exam they uh, they have alias cube CTL to K. So K get so K set image deployment nginx uh, and then so the image name is gonna uh, the, um, the container name is nginx. So the first nginx, this is the name of the nginx deployment, and this is the name of the containers inside the deployments, uh, the, the pods inside the deployment. So nginx, and then we'll set the image 119. It used to be that you had to add 
uh, record. But if we do this, you'll see we get a warning. Flag record has been deprecated. Record will be removed in the future. Uh, so deployment apps uh, image has been updated. And we can check that by doing K rollout history deployment nginx. Yep. Uh, yep. So that's that. We could have done dash dash uh, record uh the first if we had done that when we created a deployment it the the command would have appeared here so let's look at this yep or we could have done yeah edit and we could have done that all right check the rollout history so we've done this right get the uh, rollout history blah, blah. uh let's have a look we get RLS. yep you see so a new um, the plumber has been a new replica set has been created, and uh, this one is is going to be. I don't know if it's going to be deleted. Let's have a look. Nope, doesn't look like it's getting deleted. But we're we're keeping track of the different replica sets because you see, desired, current, and ready are set to zero, and this is the new one. Uh, okay, undo the last latest rollout and verify that the new pods have the old image. Easy enough. That's K. Roll out. Undo deployment. Nginx. Boom. So if we do status deployment Nginx, it's rolled out. And if we look at the history. Now, actually, that's, that wasn't the question. The question was well, let's just look at the history first. As you can see, uh, two, three. Oh, we didn't do uh, record, but so the this one is this is the rollout. Um, undo revision three, and um, so we ask to verify that the pods have the correct image. So let's do k okay, deploy nginx. And then we'll grab for image, type an I image. Yep, Nginx A1180. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, do an on, on purpose update of the deployment with the wrong image, Nginx 191. Let's do that. Beep said da da da. We'll do 1.91. And this time we won't forget about record. Okay. Verified it's something wrong with the rollout. So let's do a rollout status. Waiting for deployment rollout to finish. One out of two replicas have been updated. So I'll do that again. I think it's stuck. Yeah, because the um because the um Rollout status deploy. Oh, no, we're not seeing that. They're waiting for deployment rollout to finish. It's ready. It's up to date. Okay. Rollout status deployment. It's stuck for whatever reason. Um, let me just okay, describe. Yeah. Let's do a reason. Mm, let's do make it pause. Yeah. Okay, that's the one. Pull back off, whatever. Uh, it doesn't work. Okay, return the deployment to the second revision and verify the images in Genx 19.8, yeah, so then we'll do, and this is where the history thing uh, is, is important because if we do this, you can see we have revision numbers, two, three, four, and so we can essentially roll back to specific versions, so we can do, we can do QCL, uh, 
rollout, undo deployment nginx, and then we pass the revision equals two. And we'll do record again. Unknown flag revision. Uh, kubectl rollout. Okay. Pause. kubectl hold on you can do revision right it's kubectl i've done it before kubectl rollout uh restart the plan mm -hmm. kubectl rollout uh, no that's not that undo yeah, so QCL rollout undo deployment. Hold on, let me just do this. Yeah. Oh, it's two revision. All right, sorry about that. So QCL rollout undo deploy nginx dash dash two dash two dash revision equals two. And we'll record that. All right, we'll do this. Uh, roll out. Status deployment. All right, so it's rolled out. Let's do roll out history. Deployment nginx. Okay. Uh, so it's 1.19.8. And if we do k get deploy nginx. Uh, and then we'll do this describe and we'll do image. Yep, it's 119.8. Uh, okay, check the details of the fourth revision, number four. Cube, so cube rollout, QCL rollout, this story, deployment nginx. Maybe that's revision equals four. Let's just do that. Yep. Okay, so we've got the details in the YAML. Uh, do, 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 take the details. Yeah, revision equals four. Um, roll out undo two revision. Yeah, okay, so we've done that. So we've done all of the three commands. Scale the deployment to five replicas. Scale the deployment uh to five replicas okay so cube cq scale deployment nginx replicas equals equal five and if we do kgit pod boom we have five um pods uh okay so that was easy enough Auto scale the deployment pause between five and ten, targeting CPU utilization eighty percent. That's interesting. Auto scale deployments. Uh, do we have the yeah deployments? Let's have a look at this. Let's have a look at this. Auto scale. Let's look at that. Scale, nothing about scaling. Scale up. Oh, oh, auto scale. Okay, so we can do that. All right, great. So QCL auto scale. I have no idea. I had no idea we could do that. So QCL auto scale. Well, actually, I had because apparently I did it before. So QCL uh, deployment nginx. I'm doing my best not to look at the uh, the, the commands because apparently I've, I did it before, but I I, uh, I didn't know that fish was uh, and that was a long time ago because uh, I sort of I sort of stopped studying and then I uh, sort of forgot about everything else. I uh, sort of forgot about all of it, so it's essentially I'm just essentially doing it blind um, again. Uh, so what was the what were the rules? 
So between five and 10 and CPU at 80%. So it's gonna be five and 10. Five and 10, see auto scale isn't mentioned enough. Horizontal pod auto scaler, auto scaling Nginx auto scale. All right. Um, where are we? Pause the rollout of the deployment. Okay, so K okay, rollout. Pause deployment. And the next. It's paused. Update the image to 1.19.9 and check that there's nothing going on since we paused the rollout. Let's just do K rollout status. Okay, so it's paused, I guess. We'll do K set image. Uh, 1.19.1.9, I guess. Yeah, 0.9. And then we'll do waiting for deployment. What? This is a bit weird. Let's have a look. Um, roll out. Oh. Roll out history. No, deployment engine X. Oh yeah, it's 19.8 and we, yeah, 19.9. Okay, so if we do K, roll out, resume, deploy engine X. If we do this, we, let's go back to the status. Yeah, okay, so it's, it's, uh, it's stuck because it's paused. So if we do, uh, Okay, roll out, resume, deploy Nginx. And if we do this, yep. All right, and so successfully rolled out. And if we go to the history, we have the 119.9. Okay, delete the deployment and the horizontal pod auto scale you created. Cube CTL. Delete pod, uh, delete deploy, oh, and I think it's horizontal, no, no, let's just do K, K, API resources, grab, I horizontal, HBA, okay, K, delete, HBA, boom, uh okay implement canary deployment by running two instances of nginx marked as version one and version two so that the load is balanced at 75 25 ratio can't remember how to do canary deployment i think it's um hang on let me check my notes my notes with me uh, canary so to follow through the common label and then you reduce the traffic to do canary deployment so we have to cre uh, no. create two deployments with a common label so again by running two instances of nginx marked as version one and version two so that the load is balanced 75 25 ratio reduce traffic to uh, the canary deployment to do this reduce the number of replicas to match the percentage of traffic desired oh okay so we have to create so we have to create a, um okay so we have to create two deployments one is going to have the label version one and the other is going to have the label version two and version two is going to have um version two is going to have 75 so it's going to have 
three replicas and um and version 2 is only going to have one replica okay let's try it out and see if it works i get a feeling that this is not going to work but we'll try it we'll do create deployment nginx we'll give this three replicas we'll just do nginx and we'll do label xl version equals v1 Uh, let's try that. Nope. Let's do help. Uh, okay, so we'll do that. Then we'll do try run equals client yaml temp nginx one dot yaml now, dep nginx one by yaml. Exactly one name is required. Uh, oh, sorry. I have to redirect the output like that. So we'll do temp dep nginx one. Uh, labels is going to be version v1 uh, this has three replicas i'm assuming there's gonna have to be a service somewhere so we're gonna have to, yeah we'll have to create a service uh in fact now let me just do this let me go back let me give this v1 too i think we're gonna have to create a service um uh, okay so we'll do For the next one, so replicas is going to be one, and then we'll do vim temp two, and that's going to have version v2. Could have used said and copied the file, but version v2. All right, and so we'll do kubectl. Apply have an f temp nginx dot yaml. Actually, let's let's give it another name. Uh, let's give this one uh, nginx two. Hold on, what's what's his name? Name nginx two, yeah. Nginx two, and the other one's going to be nginx one. next one all right so we'll do this and then we'll do that okay and then we'll create a service so say create sv service and both have app nginx by the way uh, so we'll create, we'll do cluster IP. Help. Okay. No, I don't think, no, hold on. Let's have a look. Deploy three replicas of V1, okay. Yep. So that was the one version v1 create service okay and then one replica v2 which is what we've done wait there was nothing about edit containers right Okay, whatever. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Put one replica v two. Yeah. Okay. So that yeah, essentially that's that. All right. And then you essentially just d delete the 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 v one, and then you scale the v two to four, because you create three. So you have to have four pods. 
three of v1 one of v2 uh then you create a service that sort of balances the the load to uh to um but what but what was the uh yeah app my app Oh yeah, yeah. So I was on the right track. Yeah. So we have to create a service, and then we'll we'll use the app nginx. I guess we we're gonna use the app nginx, um, the common label app nginx, and then we'll we try to sort of test if it works, blah blah blah, and then we just um, uh, scale up the four replicas, scale the v two to four replicas, because we one hundred percent of the traffic to go to replica, to the v two, and then we'll uh, scale down the um, the deployment of um the, the the v1 to zero uh to gracefully uh transition so let me just look at the pause okay delete deploy nginx one x2 uh do i have a service nope all right so jobs create a job named Pi with image Perl 534 that runs a command with arguments Perl. Da, da, da. Okay, let's create a job named Pi with image runs a command with arguments Perl. Yes, that. Wait till it's done. Get the output. Okay, so get k create job hyphen help. So, kubectl create job by, uh, so the image is uh, Perl 534, image is going to be Perl colon 534, uh, and then uh, and then we can essentially just give it the command like this, so dash dash bin hyphen sh dash c and we'll do that. See if it works. Three, two, one. Now let's actually double quote this. Okay, let's get the jobs. Oh yeah, we have to wait for it to complete. I don't know how long it's going to take. Let's see if we can get the logs for a job. Yep, we can. So, okay, logs, job. Yes. Let's have a look. God, is it not? Okay, do you know what? Okay, delete job pi. Instead of 2000, we'll do 20. Okay, get job. All right, it's completed. So we'll do k logs job pi. Uh, what do you mean? K logs deployment. Well, yeah, I mean, oh, it's jobs. No? K logs. All right. Jobs, hi. Yep, all right. So it's we have the logs. So we till then get the output. Blah blah blah. Get the pi this da da da. Okay. Uh, get logs this, and then we'll just delete the bloody thing. Okay, delete job pi. All right. Pods. We don't have pods. Brilliant. Create a job with the image busy box. Busy box that executes the command. This da, da, da. thirty. Eight, uh, well, follow the logs for the pod. You'll wait for thirty seconds. 
so we're not going to do 30 seconds we'll do much less than that we'll do 10 seconds but we'll do create job create a job sleep image equals busy box dash dash and the command is going to be bin sh hyphen c echo hello sleep 10 echo world so we'll do k logs f jobs sleep right hello we'll have 10 seconds and it should print world yep oh uh okay so that's that follow up for the pod set see the status of the pod describe it and see the logs okay describe pod sleep uh job sleep yep okay so that's that and i guess that's these are the logs so the events um well yeah well we've done that we've already done that a logs jobs and sleep yeah uh follow the logs is hyphen f yeah follow the logs all right so delete the jobs so we'll delete the job okay delete job sleep create a job but ensure that we, that it will automatically be terminated by kubernetes if it takes more than 30 seconds to execute i know this one because i've struggled with this a lot so we'll do okay create job actually let's go a create job help let's see if we can pass that directly no we can't all right so we'll have to do um, a bit of yaml editing so create a job and ensure that will be automatically so we'll do do that uh, in fact we'll just do echo hello I'm not even gonna bother with the rest we'll do this uh, now actually now we'll do uh, sleep 35 no uh, we'll do sleep 10 and then we'll do echo well we'll leave it as is we'll change the active deadline from 30 to 5 so that we don't have to sit around for 30 seconds try run equals line hyphen o yaml uh we'll send that to temp dmp job dot yeah or dmp job whoops p job dot yaml uh let's just get rid of this i believe Uh, we'll ignore this and i think it's active deadline seconds yep and so we'll set that to 10 uh we'll set that to five seconds actually no let's, yeah let's just say no let's, yeah let's do five seconds and it should fail uh so if we do k get job and w so right now we have nothing but if we do cl apply have an f job just five seconds and i think it's just gonna i don't think it's gonna get stuck It's got zero completions, but if I do sleep, zero one. No, let's do O wide. We have to have the status right. 
Okay, let's do K describe job sleep. Dead, yeah, see? Deadline exceeded. Job was active longer than specified deadline. Boom. Um, so that was the one. Blah, blah, blah. And then active deadline seconds. Yep. Create the same job, but make it run five times, one after the other. Verify its status and delete it. So for that, we're not even going to do... We'll do UK get job sleep hyphen W. We'll go back to that and we'll do completions five. Uh, and we don't want them to run in parallel, so we'll just do this and then we'll do this. K delete job sleep. And we'll do this again. And as you can see, it's zero five. Oh, hold on. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Vim. We need to get rid of this. And we can't be waiting that long, so we'll just do that. Go hello. So we'll delete the job. Of course. Okay, so we'll do K. I have to be very quick about this. Boom. One, two, three, four, five. As you can see, yep. And it's completed. So if we do K describe, job completed. I'm definitely not waiting <laughs> that. So create the same job and make it run five parallel times. And so now what we need we can do is we can just do parallelism. True it's one. No, it's five. Hold on, let, 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 let's Yeah, let's try that. Okay, delete job sleep. I think it's gonna take a lot longer. Okay, get job sleep. Nope. God. Yep. As you can see, it's four, two, three, one, five out of one. Um, so it's done in parallel, not sequentially. And if we, again, look at the logs, K okay, describe job sleep, it's completed. So that's great. Uh, let's see if we did that. Completions five. Uh, parallelism five, yeah. Okay. So that's it for jobs. Let's do cron jobs now. Let's just delete that. Okay, delete job. Ah, the sleep. Sleep. I need to install the completion kit for fish. Create a cron job with image busy box that runs on a schedule of every second, I believe. Um, and write dates from the kubernetes cluster to standard output okay uh okay i guess that's uh all right so we'll do that so syntax is uh, very similar we'll do k create cron job we'll call it cron cron date dash dash schedule equals this this copy the quotes with it All right uh and the command is going to be this date uh no it's going to be bin dot bin sh and then this Uh, 
All right. So we do k get uh, k logs f jobs on date. Uh, oh, we've not said the image. Ah. Uh, let's do that's image equals busy box. Oh, it's not jobs, it's cron jobs. Oh boy. Okay, let's have a look at the logs. Okay, get job. No, okay, get cron jobs. Right, so let me get the logs. Logs. Can we get the logs for the, uh, have a look. Long jobs? I don't think we can. Uh, jobs, deployment. For a container in a pod or specified reef, the pod is only one container. The container name is optional. Uh, logs. Deployment. Yeah, so it's gonna have to be cron job engine. My am I tripping? A logs cron job cron date. Cannot get the logs from the selector. Not implemented. Okay, fine. You know what? We'll do pods, and then we'll do this. All right? We'll do k logs that. Boom. Um, and I believe it just, but for whatever reason, it's just not giving me the logs. Let's have a look. So that was the one. Okay, great. Ah, okay. Yeah. I oh, said so we can't get the logs for a cron job. Uh, okay, delete. CJ, cron job. Uh, cron date. Boom. Okay, create the same cron job again and watch the status once it ran. Check which job ran by the cre what? Create the same cron job again and watch the status. Right. So once it ran, check which job ran by the created cron. I have no idea what this question means. And watch the status once it runs. I guess once it's done running, check which job ran. Let's have a look at this. Okay, watch. Yeah, show labels. Uh huh. Okay, well, I don't know. Whatever. Create a cron job with image busy box that runs every minute and writes date da 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 to standard output. The cron job should be terminated if it takes more than 17 seconds to start execution after its scheduled time. I.e., the job missed its scheduled time. All right, so run job with image busy box that runs every minute and writes this should be terminated if it takes more than 17 seconds to start execution after its scheduled time more than 17 seconds to start let's have it let's look, let's look at the uh let's do kubectl uh cj let's back uh, concurrency policy schedule starting deadline seconds if it okay optional deadline seconds for starting the job if it misses schedule time for any reason miss job execution will be cancelled failed one all right so that's the one starting deadline seconds so we'll do that and we'll do uh, we'll do hyphen o yaml dry run equals client and then we'll go temp Cron .yaml. Temp cron .yaml. Uh, I think this is where we have to put it. I don't know. It's the it's cron job specific, so it's here. 
and it's starting deadline seconds 17. Delete that, delete this. All right, let's have a look. I suppose that's the one. Yep, starting deadline seconds. Boom. The Chrome drive should be terminated if it successfully starts, but takes more than 12 seconds to complete execution. Well, that's active deadline seconds. Um, so, A, delete, CJ, date. OK, uh, uh, get CJ, on date. Right, cron. Um, that's act. Oops. Oh, hold on. What? Create an error. Uh, the state. The cron job should be terminated if it successfully starts, but takes more than twelve seconds to complete its execution. Yeah. So. Okay, so the active deadline seconds is going to be here then. So it's job template spec, and that's this is where it's going to be. 12. And let's do that again. And I suppose, let's look at the solution. Uh, yeah, that was the one. All right, so we're, we're done with the uh, deployments. Uh, we'll part design, I guess. So we've done... So we have done, what did we do? We did uh, core concept, multi-container pod, pod design. Uh, what does configuration contain? Config map, security context, request and limits, secrets, and service accounts. Well, I'll leave it here uh, for this stream. I will stream this afternoon again, hopefully, and we'll go through uh, configuration and observability. And I guess we'll do, we'll try and finish the rest in one sitting. Because uh, I, uh, I have other things to attend to uh, until then. So, um, yeah. So, if you have... Uh, so, again, this is going to be... Uh, um, the, the VOD for this is going to be uploaded to YouTube. So, if you have any questions or, you know, um, suggestions or comments, we'll leave them down below. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll read them and, uh, and respond to you. Um, what else? Um, yeah, no, that's it. I'll, um, I'll see you in the next one. And, um, yeah, if you see this on YouTube, like, subscribe. And if you're on Twitch, well, I guess, um, uh, I don't know. Is it subscribe on Twitch? Do you subscribe to Twitch channels? I don't know. I'm not, I'm a complete Twitch noob. Uh, but yeah, take care and, um, and, uh, keep studying. Cheers. How do I quit the stream?